Hey guys, my name's Justin. We're getting eight pretzels and we're gonna eat them all tonight. And my name's Jeff. I'm just the audience plan. I'm the one that they're rooting for because I don't know what I'm doing. And we really, really miss soft pretzels. Specifically Auntie Anne's like mall pretzels. What's that other brand called? Wetzel's Pretzels or Pretzel Twister, any of those ones. Oh, like they're the... kind of the same, but although I think like Auntie Anne's is the best. Yeah. I miss the pretzels that are like greasy and a little sticky. Um, they're kind of skinny, but then like they have the best flavor and the best texture. And it's the ones that are gross and stinky and nasty. <laughs> I'm just the pretzels that are gonna kill you. So you touch it and your fingers are just nasty. But the pretzels here, they're almost more like bready. While I feel like Auntie Anne's pretzels have like, I mean, not like a pastry like quality, but it's like a treat. Like, you know, it's not bread. You want a treat? Yes. <laughs> and that's why we're gonna make. Auntie Anne style pretzels? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. You said that you've made soft pretzels yourself before, uh -huh. right? Back in high school, yeah. And I never have, so this should be an experience. So the first step is just... Um, make the dough. First step is make the dough. The second step is cook the dough. And the third step is eat it. Okay, so the first thing is to like do the yeast stuff. A cup and a half of warm water. Water. Fire. Earth. Air. I'm not sure if we've shown off our, our little things yet, but it's Pikachu. He looks so pale. It's a whole set. How much is it? Just one teaspoon? One teaspoon and then an eighth of a teaspoon. So just like a little whisper, just a suggestion of it? Yeah. It's like if someone in another room whispered the word yeast, Add that much yeast. They could also just say a rounded teaspoon. True. But yeah, also if you're not in Sweden and watching this, you might be like, what are these yeast packets? I don't know what this amount is. Cause like all the recipes that we know are like one package of yeast. yeast. And this is like not US. that. Yeah. yeah, this is some other amount. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Also, Pikachu. One. Ooh. Oh, my God. Two. Now we're supposed to, you know, let it bloom and then see like, oh, does it produce bubbles? Is it alive? Did it die in our pantry? Because it's so cold. Because it's so cold. <laughs> it's like, oh, I had a really nice dinner Saturday. It's like, oh, what'd you have? It's like, we made 12 pretzels and I ate six of them. What else did you have? We made cheese sauce, probably. It's a hundred million percent alive. Honestly, a little gross. Oh, I like this because you can squeeze the bottle. <gasps> and make the salt come out. Oh my God, is that what you're supposed to do with this? Sorry, Mortons, you lost out with this one. This is great. Oh my God, I feel so measured. Also, why are we just putting the salt in with the yeast? Yeast. Isn't it gonna kill it? One way to find out. Oh my God, it kind of smells like pretzels. <laughs> really? Even without flour. No, like get in there. <laughs> 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 it does though, right? It does, yeah. It's weird. You know, some recipes for, Soft pretzels might say that you can use regular sugar. Don't, you need the molasses. Based on being like three minutes into this <laughs> recipe, we can confirm based on smell from three ingredients <laughs> that it's brown sugar. But it does. I didn't realize that it would smell like that. Yeah. It smells so much like pretzel. Cause I was really like, when we were deciding what recipe to go off of, I was like, I don't, I have no idea if it's brown or, or bleached or refined or whatever like bleached bleached refined right it's not bleached it's not like it's just like white sugar like this flour is bleached white i think and mm -hmm. i don't know speaking of flour so now we're going to slowly add in four cups of flour so if one cup of flour <laughs> is 120 grams and Susie has four cups of flour how many grams of flour is that who's Susie? Susie's the, the baker in this um, math equation. Which okay, like, so you expect women to do the baking? <laughs> Which is literally just like the most simple math thing. My brain is not what it used to be. 480 grams of flour. Recipe says bread flour plus all-purpose flour. We just have whatever this is, so. It'll be fine. Ooh, mm, this looks really good. Um, this looks like something you would throw up. 
Okay, it's really becoming dough like now. You can see the vision? Yeah. Man, I miss Auntie Anne's. Your hands are the best tool. Yeah. That's what everyone says. Um, what are you doing? I don't know. I sure hope this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Does that feel good? Uh -huh. <laughs> Fold it over so the flour is covering more. So it's easier to manage. Do you want me to do this? Mm, if you are up for it. Yeah. Just cause like this already seems like very like challenging. You're more like the pastry chef of the family and I'm the baker. You're definitely more skilled in the flower arts as they are called sometimes. By me specifically. Yeah. Especially like kneading. You know what things should like feel like. Except I'm just for, like, ooh. Except ooh. for hand pulled noodles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you knew it was wrong. Yeah. But you just didn't know it was wrong until we were ready to make them. But you got there, we got there. At 11 o'clock at night. Yep. Which we'll link the video if you want to see that nonsense. Yeah, that was a good time. Can you make more flour? It's just like, it's a very sticky dough. It's a very sticky dough. What? The can you don't take home to mama. Oh yeah, that's elastic. Look at that. It's elastic. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Why do I have these songs in my head? You're my dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. All right, so now that Justin's needed this real good and stuff, we're just gonna cover it for half an hour. And in the meantime, we can like preheat the oven and make this baking soda water bath thing. And I don't know, probably eat something too. I don't know. It's been half an hour. Okay, it's been half an hour. <laughs> well, it's like super freaking sticky. I'm uh, almost like, is this too sticky? I just started. <laughs> you started already. What was that? That's how you make a pretzel, Jeffrey. Oh, this is not ready. <laughs> I think we need more flour, right? It's too, too, it's like too sticky still. When we got Auntie Anne's, they're so easy to pull apart, but these look like they're just fusing back. We can just add flour. It's super close though, cause like the dough is not really sticking to the bowl. I don't really know if this is a good idea, but I don't know, we'll see. It was just sticking to itself too much? Yeah. And like, I want it to be like Auntie Anne's, although I'm sure they put like chemicals in there or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. But still the idea of like being able to like pull it apart, yeah. right? Like, it's not like sticking, sticking to my hands when I'm just like touching it outright. And it's like not sticking to the table anymore. Oh, it was sticking to the table before? Yeah. <gasps> hey. Pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it. Yup. Just like that? Yup. And then just put it on here? Yup. Do I need to let it like drip? Mm, I don't know. Okay, that, how much is it? More. And when you pin, like actually pinch, pinch. Like, like this much? When I say pinch, I mean like you grab it and then you pinch it. Oh, with your other hand. Yeah. Oh. No, you're not pulling it, you're closing it oh, up. Oh, like a butthole. Yes, like a sphincter. No Keisha, a valve. Oh, do you want to take off your rings? It's too late for that. Okay. My rings were on when I was doing the initial, like, mixing. I think there's, like, flour under my rings now. Sick. Be aware that you're pulling here. Just make sure you're, like, balancing where you're, like, pay attention to that. <laughs> now I twirl it? You can do it the other way. No, I want to twirl it. Yes, yeah, so you just... What? That was one. Okay, okay, okay. And then you bring it down. You see that? Oh. You bring it down. There. Yours looks better than mine. Really? Yeah. And then I dip it? Yep. How long is it supposed to be in there? Just like a dip? Just a dip, yeah. Okay. So I definitely spent too much time, so. And then just put it. Yeah. I did it! I want to be like super like, I want to be bigger than that. Okay, well it's not. It well, looks good! Can I do another? Yeah. We're getting eight pretzels. And we're gonna eat them all tonight. Stay tuned for the end of the video where two sad losers eat eight pretzels for dinner. Oh, where are you gonna find another sad loser besides yourself? <gasps> Comment below if you want to be a sad loser with me. Like, 
How much dough do they use to make it so big? It's like those pretzels are huge. Are you um, realizing how much pretzel you eat when you eat a... Yeah, because it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of pretzel. Like that's not even that big. And I right. like, made it super thin. So, you know, we'll also see how this one turns out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm doing with my hands though? Oh, yeah. It's so little. Okay, so you like did this, right? Like you waved your hands out or like, expanded your fingers. How'd you do it so fast though? Mm. No, you use one hand to keep that there. You're stretching. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, like do that, like. Oh, okay. You know, because this is so thin here. I'm just the audience plan. I'm the one that they're rooting for because I don't know what I'm doing. This is good. No. <laughs> I gave you the big ones so that you wouldn't have that. What happened to me happened to you. Mm-hmm. And then. Yeah. So you can stretch this part out. This is why I asked you want me to just roll it out for you. Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> Twisting is the fun part anyway. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty even. Thank you for rolling it for me. Love that smack. Let's try to stretch this a little bit before you put that on. Is this gonna be the best one? <gasps> this is the best one. Because of this one we made together. Oh. Okay, you can dip them. Then we can show everyone how they look, which is so good. They are all like a little ugly. I think they turned out great. I think this one's kind of okay, minus how it looks. Minus how it looks? Yeah. That one's all right. This one ended up being fine. This that one? one's good. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. That one's hot. Bye. Oh, okay. Uh, they look like bread. <laughs> Not necessarily pretzels. I mean, I want to like drench them, you know? This looks right now. I don't know. Yeah, the yellow of the butter is kind of making them look like a more correct color. Um... They're wouldn't... not really sticking. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's sticking. <laughs> so maybe we should have put the salt on after we washed them. Yeah. Damn. See, this is why, like, not everyone's meant to be a recipe writer. <laughs> right, like, the recipe definitely said to do this after you're done baking them and after you put the butter on, but I don't know about you. Barely any of it's sticking. The smell is right. Yeah, it smells like... It smells like Auntie Anne's, actually. Mmm, It yeah. does, right? The look is, uh, but the smell is right. Okay, this is still really hot, but in the beginning of the video, you were like, oh, I miss Auntie Anne's pretzels because, like, your hands get all nasty. Yeah, my hands feel nasty. So, <laughs> these ones came out super flat. I'm wondering if we should have had them at a higher temperature or something. Maybe. Oh my god. Mmm. This one's good. It's good? Mm-hmm. I like it. This one's good, but not great. This one's super nice. Yeah. This is from the top rack. Yeah, this one, the bottom is like a little crunchy. <laughs> really? You yeah. wanna try this one? This one feels better. Oh yeah, this one, oh, it's good in its own way. It's not Auntie Anne's. This is an Auntie Anne's, but it tastes closer than that. This one is really good. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, we need to identify which ones are which. <laughs> yeah, this is like obviously buttery. Like it has like that mild sweetness. But the texture, it's like chewy. It's tender. For at least the top rack ones, there's just like the slightest crunch. With the Auntie Anne's ones, there is a little bit of like this kind of like foot that happens. And there's a little bit of crispness, but it's just not like this. I don't know why it's like that. Oh yeah, look, it separates. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. It must be good because I just keep eating it. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want that. These are a bit breadier, I think, because we put a little too much flour. But, like, mm. the recipe was just so weird. Mm -hmm. I think it's because 
it did call for bread flour, which because it has a higher protein, I'm sure like it interacts differently with liquids. That's true, yeah. I definitely want to do this again because I remember that I used to always get the sweet almond pretzels and I really miss those. So one day that would be fun to try. Did you like the cinnamon sugar? Yeah, see those were okay, but they weren't. The sweet almonds were at that, everyone. I just am eating a pretzel in front of my camera. This is a mukbang <clears throat> now. Actually, I think I want to make a dipping sauce. I'm gonna oh. do that really quick. Are you sure this mustard's still good? Isn't it old? But it smells fine. Does mustard go bad? One way to find out. So I just made a quick like cheese sauce out of American cheese and oat milk. And I just made a quick mustard sauce out of mustard I put out of the fridge. Oh my god. Are we eating it without trying? <laughs> that the whole point was to get the sauce. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm gonna dip. I wanna do this because I think this is gonna be gross. I got some mustard seeds on it. Okay, I don't like this one. It has, it's like sweet, but it's not like honey mustard sweet. Oh yeah, it is sweet for some reason. I'm not sure if it's because it's Swedish. Delicious. I'm gonna taste the winner. Look at how drippy it is. It's like nice and like smooth. I don't know if that's like a texture people like with cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Excellent cheese sauce. Literally, like, four slices of cheese, two tablespoons of, like, oat milk, and, like, a little salt, just because oat milk's sweet. The cheese sauce is the winner, for sure. But yeah, these actually turned out really nice. I'm proud of us. And I just realized that behind this, this entire video, there was... Oh, pretzel bread. Oh my god. I'm so happy. And this was actually really quick. Like, I'm not sure how it reads on camera, but this was like less than an hour of work. Mm. The mustard is delicious though. Okay, should we say goodbye? Oh yeah. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe to catch what we do next. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs>